Hello students, welcome to Statics. I'm Dr. Stewart, and today we're going to do an example for the centroid of area. This is example uh, 9.5 coming from Hibbler's Statics book. And in this problem, we are asked to find the centroid, meaning the X bar and Y bar for the given uh, area. Let's look at the area that we're given. Here we've got a uh, coordinate system, X and Y. And if we highlight the area that we're given, it is this nonlinear area that is defined by this equation, Y is equal to X squared. And we want to find the centroid of that area, the X bar and the Y bar position. We're also given the dimensions for this. So we're told that it's one meter high and it's one meter long. So we have some basic information uh, that we would need to, to, um, to, to find these locations. So let's start to solve this problem. In solving centroid problems, there's basically three things that we need to do. We need to define what is the interval that we're integrating over. We need to define what that interval is. What, what is dA? What is the dif differential area or differential length? And then we need to do the integration to solve for x bar and y bar. So for this problem, we're given that y is equal to x squared. Let's remember that for the centroid of area, we can find the x centroid is equal to the integral of x tilde over area divided by the integral of the differential area. And our, our y bar is similar. It's the integral of y tilde over the differential area, uh, I mean, uh, uh, over the differential area divided by the integral over the differential area, right? So we've got these equations here. If we look at it closely, we'll see that the, the new term we introduced, x tilde and y tilde, that those are the centroids of our, dif our differential area, that element that we're going to take. So those are unknowns that we're going to need to find. We'll also note that the differential area, we'll have to choose one. We'll have to say, what is this dA? What is this little increment that I'm integrating over? We have to define that. And then finally, once we have those three pieces, we can solve for the centroid. We can find the x bar and the y bar, right? So we summarize all of this with our knowns and unknowns, where we know the equation, uh, we have some dimensions that we'll use to, to set the interval. Um, and there is a little bit of work we need to do in order to get the centroid. Let's start with finding the differential area, dA. And finding that differential area, dA, we must make a choice. We must define it. We must choose what we will call that differential area, and then that choice matters. Depending on which one or which way we draw it, it can make the calculus easy to solve or the calculus hard to solve. In this problem, we're going to choose the following differential area, where dA is equal to y times dx. If we draw it on our diagram, it looks like a little sliver. So we're, we're, in essence, we're creating a little element, a little piece that we're going to integrate over, right? And we say that, hey, the width of this is some differential length dx. And the height, that height is going to be equal to the distance y from 0 to y, because that's, that's how tall it is. And then we end up with the area dA as y times dx, right? Now, this was a choice that we made. There's another option that we could have selected for this problem. We could have made our differential area this way, right? We could have, we could have written a differential area in, in, this, in this manner, and then we would have to find, well, what is, 
okay, is this, is this DY? But what is this term? What is this term going to be here? Hmm? Is it 1 minus x in order to get that length? And then as 1 minus x times dy, it's going to make us have a much more complicated integration. So for this one, we choose the easier option. We choose this element. Now that we have selected and defined our dA, our differential area, we now can then find the centroid of that element that we drew. And that is simply placing the centroid of a rectangle, which is in the center of the rectangle, and then finding the distance from point O to that centroid. And when we do that, we'll find that the x tilde is equal to x, right? so it's equal to x, and the y tilde is equal to y divided by 2. So now we have those three things that we needed to do the integration. We got dA, x tilde, and y tilde. But there's one more thing we can do to make this a little easier for us, and that is using is to use equation one. So we're given an equation that describes the relationship between y and x, where y is equal to x squared. So we'll want to inject that equation into the area we found. So now we go from uh, uh, dA being y times dx, and you know we, we can't integrate uh, over that y, to now being all in terms of x, where dA is x squared times dx. That's something we can integrate, right? All right. So now that we've got all of this lined up, we figured out those unknowns, we can move into doing the calculus. So we'll, we'll start with wanting to find our x bar, right? We take the given equation and we'll plug in our dA that we have as well as the x tilde that we have. And we'll end up with the integral of x cubed dx. And we're going to integrate over the full distance of our area, so from 0 to 1 meter, because that's how, you know, that's the run on the x direction. And then similarly, in our, our denominator here, we'll integrate over dA. Well, dA is uh, x squared dx, and we'll integrate from 0 to 1. And we perform our integration, and we'll find that x bar is equal to uh, 3 over 4 meters, 3 fourth meters. All right, now let's find the y bar. This one's a little bit more complicated. We'll start with the equation that we know for the centroid of area, and we'll start to plug in the things that we need. We'll plug in our dA, and we'll plug in our y tilde. The y tilde is y divided by 2, and here for the dA, we'll, just to be silly, use the other one, the, the, where dA is equal to y times dx, and then convert everything in terms of x by replacing this y with x squared and replacing this y with x squared, right, from our equation. And then we're going to be integrating over the full range that we have from 0 to 1, and note, this is the y bar equation, but we've got it all in terms of x. It's wonderful, right? All right. And the denominator will do the same thing we did in the last one. We'll replace dA with x squared dx. We'll integrate over our interval, and we'll find that y bar is equal to 0.3 meters. If we put those two together, the centroid of area for that uh, 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 area we were given is at uh, 3 fourths and 0.3 meters. That is a coordinate. And then we can always, it's, it's always good to take these numbers and then bring them back to our diagram and, and kind of think, does that make sense? Does that seem like the right centroid for this body? Where on the X, we're about here, and on the Y, maybe we're about there. So yeah, that kind of seems like a reasonable centroid for this area. It seems reasonable. So we've solved this problem. 
We located the centroid. And the challenge in all of these centroid problems is finding dA and converting and finding the x tilde and the y tilde. All right, that's it for this problem. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get the latest videos from Statics. Uh, some more centroid uh, videos are on their way. I'll see you in the next one.